In the Lemurian period, the zodiacal sign of Aries was called Pythia, a term which much later in history was used in conjunction with the oracles of Delphi in Greece. The Lemurian word Pythia meant to keep sovereign or pure. It also meant to sustain, to mark, and to give in offering. Despite the various meanings, the essence of all these definitions was to hold above all else as cherished and without blemish. To the Lemurians and the Atlanteans, all zodiacal signs were feminine in their inner mystery and masculine in their elemental power. Aries or Lady Pythia is the first sign of the zodiac and as such offers the birth of the other 11 signs as her mark of purity in the heavens. She gives birth to the 11 initiations that come after her, for she contains the consciousness of all 12 within her nature. Yet all but the first, Pythia Ares, herself, remains unborn within the womb until humanity brings her consciousness into its being. In the Moor Atlan, or the cross-culture of Lemuria and Atlantis, symbology, Lady Pythia was depicted as a woman standing somewhat like the Statue of Liberty, holding a torch high in her right hand to light the way through the twelve zodiacal initiations to follow. In her left hand, she carried a red stone held in her open palm as in a gesture of offering. This stone symbolizes the blood of the womb, which we might now associate symbolically with the blood of the lamb. In her offering of gestation, from the womb of Pythia shall the sons of heaven and earth be born. On Pythia's left arm hangs a small woven basket with three small serpents peering above the rim. These are the threefold powers of creation in the earth, conception, gestation, and birth. This symbology reveals Pythia to not only be an archetype of the cosmos, but to also be intimately connected with the rituals of birth and rebirth in the realm of earth. Even though she is a being of pure aether, her works are performed within the serpentine creational fires of earth. The true role of the goddess in the earth, or the feminine principle, is not to be found within the elements themselves, but as a steward or power over the elements. The divine feminine hierarchical station is within the world of the aether, an uncontaminated substance of fire air. Her power is utilized to direct and protect the earth. The elements are comprised of cosmic energy which is crystallized within the matter plane of the earth and which represents a masculine positive polarity. With the progressive lowering of the planetary etheric vibration through the ages, it has been necessary for the divine feminine nature of the aether to descend ever closer into proximity with the bonding forces of the elements. She now touches the core of the fire within the atom. However, the quality of the negative polarity, which is referred to as the divine feminine, has never been, nor ever will be, the elemental serpentine fire itself. Therefore, in a higher plane of perception, Aries represents the immaculate conception of all spiritual consciousness held within the 12 zodiacal signs. Indeed, the actual physical birth of Mariana, the mother of Yeshua, was within the sign of Aries. Her birth date was April 16th, while Yeshua, the host for the Christ incarnate, was born in Taurus on April 24th. From the fiery aether of Aries, the Immaculate gives birth to the sacred word or logos within the Taurian earth.